Hi, this is part two of the bust-in video for this Wavia solar sphere thing that's supposed to produce up to 60 times more energy than a traditional solar panel. So anyway, I'll link in uh, part one if you haven't seen it where I um, actually built my own, which has five times the performance of their one, the Photon Irradiant Solar System. It's a winner. I'm gonna get like a billion dollars. I'm gonna have a unicorn startup on Start Engine. It's going to be fantastic. Anyway, I'll link in Wavia's uh, video here, which the uh, co-founder here <laughs> demonstrates <laughs> demonstrates how, uh, yeah, they don't demonstrate anything because they've got nothing. It's absolutely hilarious. Anyway, so I'll link that in and also I'll link in uh, some other videos I've done because this is kind of similar to this uh, tipper one uh, that I busted here. But in this video, we're going to go through the pattern. So anyway, Wavia and energy system. Look at this. These, these little spheres <laughs> and they call the multimeter the power meter it's oh my god it's ridiculous anyway um yeah hackaday should know better so embarrassing anyway let's get through the pattern shall we because it's just i don't know confusing so the pattern reads, the abstract, a polyangular specular, specular means mirrors, basically a reflective internal, mini structure comprises a faceted hollow sphere with an aperture and focusing lens within such aperture permitting sunlight to enter the interior of such faceted spheres. The facets are hexagonal and the inner sur surfaces are reflective, basically, such that light entering the sphere is reflected multiple times. Where have we seen this before? Oh, that's right, I've done a video on Tipper, the world's most efficient solar panels busted that basically had this magical woo-woo lens on the top, this Fresnel lens on the top, and then uh, a, a reflective thing on the bottom here, sorry about my auto pop-up thing, and then the solar panels all around the outside, and it basically just bounced the energy around, and I busted that how just that's not possible because the light won't reflect off the solar panels. It'll just be wasted as heat. That was absolutely busted beyond belief. And uh, they, they're doing, it sounds like they're doing the same thing here. They accept uh, not bouncing off the solar panels, although there's got to be a solar panel inside. How else are they going to collect it? The faceted surfaces include silicon carbide or tungsten trioxide responsive to a stimulation current? A stimulation current. Uh, we're not passing current through this. Do you mean a stimulation like photons, I guess? Anyway, the faceted surface may also comprise nickel, manganese, uh, cobalt <laughs> oxides. So NMC and the interaction of such nickel, manganese, cobalt oxides with the reflected sunlight produces electrical potential suitable for powering devices. So what? What sort of rubbish is this? NMC is a battery technology. Nickel, manganese, cobalt is battery technology. It's not like a photon absorbing technology. And then uh, to combine that with silicon carbide, what? Silicon carbide is used in like high-end uh, transistors, but uh, like tungsten trioxide, I don't know. Maybe Thunderfoot can sh sh shed some light on that one. But it's just word salad. Look at this. It's basically the same as the abstract, but it says the uh, specular surfaces are reflecting the sunlight entering the faceted sphere a, a plurality of times, whereby at least uh, one of heat and electrical energy are produced. So it produces either heat or electrical energy. Uh, I think you want electrical energy? Producing heat is just waste heat. What do you do? Unless they've got some heat harvesting technology as well. This is all just gibberish. Then they just mention their big balls here. And the polyangular specular mini structure, we're in a claim one, we're in a plurality of power structures. Power structures? Are arranged and interconnected in a suitable grid to form a battery for an electric vehicle? Okay, so you interconnect the balls. You wire them together in parallel series or whatever, I guess. And then the mini structure of claim three, so the mini structure is the array of balls, I guess, wherein the array of yet yeah, mini structures are affixed to a panel and the output of the mini structures are fed into an interface for use with an electric vehicle battery. I, why specifically an electric vehicle battery? Why not just, like, why are they putting a specific application in here? Uh, I don't know. Claim, then it also can go into portable electronic devices, so they're claiming specific things. I don't get the point. Then they just mention more applications like smart glasses, smartphones, drones, and residential homes. Like, what? The polyangular specular mini structures, they just love these polyangular specular mini structures, are wherein the outer surfaces of such facets comprising the outer surface, so the outer surface of the sphere comprising oxides of at least one lithium, nickel, manganese, and cobalt. So NMC, which goes into battery, lithium, 
batteries. And they're making their spheres out of that. It just looks like 3D printed material. Is it, what? This is rubbish. So the outer surface is NMC, and now they're saying the facets are composed, so I guess the material itself, not just coded on the outside, at least one material selected from the group comprising of quartz, silica sand, tungsten trioxide, silicon carbide, single crystal silicon, and silicon dioxide. This is just scientific word salad. What the heck? And then they're talking about them combined together at a suitable temperature into glass glue, liquor to which the silicon carbide, the crystal sand, and the silicon dioxide are added to the glass liquor as additives in the liquid state, the facets comprising the glue glass and the additives upon cooling thereof. It doesn't look like that. I mean, check it out. These just look like 3D printed balls. Uh, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not a material scientist. The facets comprise a significant amount of tungsten trioxide to cause iron emission in response to stimulation of the tungsten trioxide with a stimulation current of electricity. Uh, where's the electricity coming from? I don't get it. I thought, it, like, the, well, the photons producing the stimulation current? I, I don't get it. But once again, I'm not a material scientist, so I don't know. Leave it in the comments down below. And this is just uh, ridiculous. As of claim 10, wherein the stimulation current has a value of four amp hours. Assume it's four amps. Let's assume that they've got that, you know, they made a mistake in their patent application, and it's actually four amps here. Even if you had four amps, where in the video or any of their other material does it show them passing four amps of current? What it's going to pass four amps of current through the material to do its magic woo woo thing? I don't get it. In response to the stimulation current to reflect the ion emission until an electric generation threshold is reached and wherein upon reaching the electric generation threshold the facets transmit light there through until the ion emission falls below the electric generation threshold and within the facets generate supply electricity at greater amp hours than the stimulation current at greater amp hours than the stim so the stimulation current, even though you can't have a current in amp hours, well, you can have one, it's one amp for an hour, but, the, but it's energy, it's units of energy. So uh, are they saying that you feed like a current into it, like one amp, for example, into the material, and then it outputs greater amp hours? It's so greater energy than what you put in? Once again, this is over unity stuff. Like, why, why didn't the patent attorney just laugh this away? Sorry, we can't patent it. This is just over unity rubbish. I don't know. Am I reading it wrong? That's the only way I can read that. Further, comprising computer programming for controlling the stimulation current in terms of timing, amount, and duration in response to the generation of the supply of electricity. So yeah, like, and nowhere in their video or anything else um, do they mention that you have to stimulate it with current. It's just turn it on. It generates current from the energy. Like, I, 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 what? Unless they think that you can store energy in the balls, but then, like, this is all over the shop. This is terrible, Muriel. Ah, oh, but this is an absolute doozy here. Look at this. Wherein the spheres comprise diameters selected from the group consisting of six millimeter spheres. Well, that's tiny. 1.2, 3, and 6 centimeter spheres, wherein the supply electricity for the six millimeter spheres comprises respectively 10 kilowatts. 10 kilowatts for a six millimeter sphere. What? And the, I, I guess the ones we're looking at are about six, the ones they show in the video are about six centimeters. So are these 300 kilowatt? The supply electricity. Where in the supply electricity, does that mean you supply 300 kilowatts to it? <laughs> I don't think it's going to conduct anything. <laughs> let alone dissipate 300 kilowatts or does it produce 300 kilowatts either way this is utter garbage oh my goodness they have a plurality of concentric layers formed by the layers wherein materials uh, consist of a mixture of silicon carbide single crystal silicon silicon dioxide all this stuff again silver sulfide silver nitrate have we heard those before a method of manufacture so that is that their reflective material on the inside <laughs> I don't know, but what actually, what thing in this generates the current? <laughs> I 
don't know. Make it stop, please. Comprise it melting quartz, silica stand. Ah, the resultant liquor to 3D printing up apparatus. There you go. So they're using their proper material. Okay, right, so they're using their own filament. So they've got their, uh, manufactured their own filament with this magic, magic woo-woo material and they heat it up and that's how they've produced the 3D spheres. <laughs> Forming an aperture in the sphere and affixing the plurality of mirrors selected to focus light beams on the aperture of the sphere. Right, so they, uh, what? So they just have mirrors? They just mention mirrors. So they open up the two shells and they stick some mirrors around inside and then, uh, but where's the, where's the solar cell to collect the energy? I don't, I don't get it. If you've got mirrors on the inside reflecting the light around, how does the material on the outside do anything at all? I don't get it. Providing a unibody mold suitable for metallurgical processing. I, I don't know, leave it in the comments down below if you're a metallurgist and manufacturing materials specialist. Stainless uh, outer mold, they're talking about the molds. So there you go, that's it. They're, they're all the claims. Sorry I had to bore you with that. And then they just link in, oh, I'm not even gonna, no. Just, just no. And then I'll link in, here's the actual, uh, here's the PDF uh, download. I'll link in uh, this one as well. So here it is. They've got the little diagram here of the ballsies. Um, and it's a bit different. It's written in the, like the actual patent, you know, way with the numbers and everything. It's really annoying. Yeah. So they say it's a hollow interior and it's reflected multiple times by the interiorly oriented specular facet. So if it's reflected around, it's got to come out somewhere like an integrating sphere, which is how a big integrating sphere is how you measure um, the output, like the lumen, number, the lumen's output of a luminaire, a lead uh, light, basically an LED bulb. Uh, for example, you stick it inside this integrating sphere, has a big reflective coating inside and bounces all around. And then it's uh, due to the nature of the angles, it all comes out into the one sense, guaranteed to all come out in the one sensor and that. So where's the, yeah, but where's their panel? What's doing? Uh, like, where does the light come out, and how is it absorbed, and how do they produce current? I don't get it. All I can think of is that they have a literal solar panel at the bottom of the cube, and it bounces around and it lights up the solar panel. What else is there? Once again, they mention the 4 amp hours. Once again, they mention the 300 kilowatts, and it's just, it, it's just more of the same. Light fusion crystals configured to reflect, to reflect and refract light in different ways. This is just... So here they're showing their figures of it all bouncing around inside. Okay, it comes in here. Okay, I assume that, that, that cone is coming in. Where does it go out? Do they connect electrodes to, this, to the magical woo-woo material? But then how does it get through the mirrors inside? Or is the internal coating? Oh, they, they mention mirrors, but then they don't. What? No, like, like there's no output. There's no, there's no output. They've got a hole that comes in. It bounces around. And, and, and what? What is that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, oh, let, let it stop. Let it stop. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be able to power your calculator. That's about the only thing you're going to be able to power with this crap. Yeah, I am absolutely sure that this thing actually is outputting like the 0.6 volts here and then when, like in ambient and when you turn the lights on, it'll give you the uh, four and a half volts. I have absolutely no doubt it does that, but no. You cannot beat the laws of physics, Captain. This is the biggest load of bullshit I have seen. This is just ridiculous. This is just a power right there. Right off the bat, you don't take them seriously when they say this is the power meter and it's measuring 0.6 volts. Give me a break. <laughs> we're going to power trucks and we're going to power mythical flying machines. <laughs> is it bigger bullshit than the uh, Tipper one? And I, I, I think Tipper had more viability than this one. <laughs> <laughs> At least it had like real um, solar cells in there actually collecting the energy and the and they admit that the battery powers the tablet. So the, they're not demonstrating anything. They're just de demonstrating that it outputs not 0 0.6 volts and four and a half volts when you put it in the sun. So anyway, this one's just going to die in the ass. <laughs> They've got absolutely nothing. <laughs> And it's all over Unity BS. Um, as whenever you hear, oh, five times the output of a solar panel, you can't. You have a physical limitation of how much energy comes to a certain capture area, one square meter of capture area. Nominal, a thousand watts per square meter. Uh, you can they get more than that, Captain? Anyway, some whiz bang new material that makes it all work somehow by passing four amp hours of stimulation current through it. 
look at this. You're not going to believe this, right? Uh, once again, they talk about they've got the spheres here, okay? And the um, the outer surfaces of the sphere uh, comprise nickel or NMC. And there's just more crap about the reflective surfaces and everything. But look, opening 29 permits solar light to enter the interior through the lens system of the uh, specular mini structure where it is reflected countless times. The reflective faceted inner surface 25 generates heat or ionizing radiation radiation with regard to its constituent material such as NMC. So they're claiming that the NMC material, when exposed to this light, uh, when it's the outside material, how does it get through the mirrors anyway, that the reflected solar radiation pr produces a corresponding electric potential to form a battery to power the associated device or written installation. Based on early tested digital results with a heat measuring instrument, a heat measuring instrument, what does that mean? Uh, a thermal camera? Energy output exceeded the instrument's maximum limit of five hundred kilowatts they are claiming that they just put some sunlight through this little lens on their ball which can be up to 80 millimeter ball or whatever so the biggest balls they got and they claim to produce 500 kilowatts of power <laughs> please <laughs> for a company that doesn't even know the difference between a multimeter measure in dc voltage and uh power in watts so uh, yeah this is complete bullshit. Accordingly, further testing 100 megawatts is a very conservative estimate and is not the final result as well. Come on. Come on. What patent attorney looked at this and went, yeah, okay, I'll write this for you. Oh, well, they're getting paid, right? But uh, yeah, like... I know patent attorneys and they, they would tell their client that no, this is over unity bullshit. You got a sunlight coming through like what, a 10 millimeter aperture and you're producing 500 kilowatts output. Do I even have to explain how ridiculous this is? I mean, oh my, no, just no. Then they talk about the solar light focusing and stuff through the lens system. Okay. But, I, oh my god, how could anyone write this? Let, like, how can anyone come up with this BS, let alone a patent attorney write this, let alone, has it been um, approved, this patent? Because they're not supposed to patent, it's supposed to be impossible to patent over Unity devices. This is clearly, oh, like massively over unity. A little bit of sunlight comes in through a little lens and it bounces around and it generates 500 kilowatts and 10 megawatts is possible. Once again, this is just scientific word salad. Each six millimeter sphere can generate 10 kilowatts of electricity in one second, which can be used for a variety of electronic products such as smartphones, tablets, laptops, smart glasses. Each 1.2 centimeter sphere can generate 25 kilowatts can be used for electric lo locomotives, electric scooters, lightweight drones. Each three centimeter sphere can generate 100 kilowatts of electricity in one second. And it can power. <laughs> Electric vehicles, <laughs> VTOL aircraft, air cabs, UAVs, military laser weapons, and each six centimeter sphere can generate 300 kilowatts of electricity in one second, which can be used. <laughs> they don't know what they're talking about. They've got no clue. But you can power apartments and office buildings and manufacturing parts and desal plants and ships and military bases with them. <laughs> A sphere like this can generate 300 kilowatts with the light coming through. Just a bit of sunlight coming through and boom, it generates 300 kilowatts in a second. What the hell? The foregoing wattage generations are associated with tests using an electric wattage power test apparatus, such as shown schematically in figure five. And we'll have to find that. An electric wattage power meter, such as that made by Melectron, in the form of a laser power meter. Oh, oh, let's check this out. So they've used a laser power meter, a, like a dual meter, to measure this? How?
The optoelectronic module 507 allows the PES 511 to receive incoming light such as solar light at an amount such as in amp hours. Solar lights in amp hours? Okay. To provide stimulation current to PES 511. What? The 9 by 9 centimeter panel has AI programming. <laughs> <laughs> which can be instantly charged into all batteries. Another three spears is responsible for capturing weak light sources, such as sunset or rainy light. What? So the different spears capture different types of light? Each PES has an independent light measurement sensor and AI chip. They actually claim in the patent that they have an AI chip inside this thing. <laughs> Allowing it to constantly adjust the direction of capturing the light source during operation. What does each one of the balls have like a little uh, pivot thing on it that points the lens in a certain direction? Oh my god! Even in environments with no light source at all, small LED light emitting devices may serve as sources for the PES so that the PES is capable of charging! <laughs> it's free power! It's unlimited power! Light, here it is. Light exits the PES and passes through the mirror group to produce a polar beam which is reflected billions of times in the mirror sphere so the sphere is generally completely transparent. What? What? When electricity is required, the PES comes into a completely mirror-like state in response to re-stimulation, there's a, here, here you go, re-stimulation of the tungsten trioxide at a suitable stimulation current such as four amp hours. So, right, so when they want to produce power, then they put four amps, or four amp hours, as they say, into the spear material. I, oh, oh. When the PS is fully charged and about to discharge, it will return to the glass state. So it's ch saying it changes state material changes state when you pass the current through it oh my god and the beams of light will leak through transparent glass Speci and specially designed ai chips that controls the electric current and electric stimulation this is utter rubbish none of this is in their demonstration at all they've just got <laughs> they've just got the 3d printed sphere with the lens sitting on a box and they don't even use it to charge anything because they're just using the power bank Oh my. And it just goes on and on about the materials in operation. The aperture is controlled with a motor aperture for cameras and the surrounding area is covered with graphene. Of course there's graphene. And AI chip is used to control the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is possible to control the direction of the spheres after it's fully... Oh my god. Please make it stop. Please make it stop. I, I can't... Oh, I can't do it anymore. The claims. <laughs> this is insane. I'll leave the link down below. Read it for yourself. Like, I can't possibly... I, it'd take me an hour to go through this. Sorry, it's already been long enough. This is just utter, utter garbage. And they show none of this. None of this is in their video. There's no motors in here to move the spheres. There's no AI chip. They just show, like, some stock photo image of some AI chip that they've used. They don't even show this actual PES module charging anything. They just say it can <laughs> and then they use a, an external power bank which they powered from the mains to to power up a tablet to somehow prove that this thing works and they had this big dog and pony show and what's inside the box like uh, uh, like there's not like and they use the multimeter for like uh, come on <laughs> and they call it a power meter and they're using some power meter like this one they actually um call out this brand's um, power meter and like it's a laser power meter they have to be like reading this wrong it's <laughs> which is not surprising considering that they don't even know what a power meter is and they confuse amp hours with uh, current um like like a unit of energy with current this is just this is just ridiculous and the other thing is like if the light is just bouncing around inside. Why is only the top half lit up like this? Why isn't the bottom half lit up? <laughs> it's probably because they've got a solar cell in there. <laughs> like, my balls uh, light up completely. So, you know...
<laughs> they got this, and then where's where does the stimulation current? Have they got little probes at the bottom that probe through into the woo woo material, and then it phase changes phase state, and then it changes from reflected. To into um you know transparent and then it goes into the nmc <laughs> woo woo material and then it, with their four amp hours of stimulation current it becomes transparent and it goes into the material then it produces 100 kilowatts in one second <laughs> do i have to say any more oh no i'm done so i hope you enjoyed the look at that patent here it's just ridiculous it's just demonstrable bs unbelievable uh that you know it's it's so blazing that they can get away with something this ridiculous and get away with such an embarrassing demonstration video and they're going to power trucks and evs and flying vehicles and i don't know it's sustainable and it's a win-win for everyone and yeah nah so anyway, if you like these videos, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you can comment down below and also on the EV blog forum link down below. And don't forget to check out the uh, merch store where I have uh, products. You can buy one of my power meters <laughs> at evblog.store. Anyway, catch you next time.